And welcome back. Uh, we've got the basic game done, but we still have to add some things to uh, pretty it up and give some more information to the player. So let's just take a quick look at this and play through here. We can see that the, the mice are coming out and they're going after the cheese. The cat's going after the mouse. So that's all working well. We have a health bar for the cheese and we have a notice for the number of mice caught. Now, what happens now? Um, we really don't have anything for the player to let them know what, what happens and what's the result of the game. So let's, let's go in and tackle that right now. Um, first thing we're going to do is go up here and rewind and let's take a look at this. We've already got this um, microchip here. So let's go in here and we got the mice caught. That gives us a winning count of the mice. Uh, but we don't have anything. We need something that tells the player, uh, first of all, whether they've caught all the mice. Uh, kind of a reward screen. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll go ahead and put in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put in a timeline. Put that right there. And uh, let's go to that timeline and let's put in a text box, which we can use then to tell the player what they have accomplished. So we can put text box in here, start at the beginning, and we'll make that run for, uh, let's see, let's make that run for about, let's uh, see, four, four seconds should be long enough. And we'll just go in here and let's go ahead and put in the text that we want here. And we'll say, you caught all the mice, so congratulations. So let's go ahead and put in here, good kitty. Kitty is not spelled right, so good kitty. Let's go put an exclamation point there. Good kitty. All right. You caught all of the mice. So that's, that's a little reward screen that told the player, okay, congratulations, you caught all the mice and you basically uh, won that level. Um, what we do in the game at this point is we would go on to the next level, but we're not ready to do that yet. So we're just going to go ahead and put that in there. Good kitty, you caught all the mice. And we'll go in and put in again like we normally do. We'll go in and put in a different colored background. So it matches all the other. Good kitty, you caught all the mice. Let's put that on two lines. Let's go ahead and center that. Centered, centered, and good. So that will go up there, and we would then go on to the next level. We're going to take this when the counter is full, when it has all three of the mice, we've caught three of three, this will send out a signal, counter full, and then we will put that into the gadget here, and we now, when the player catches all three mice, that screen will come up and say, good kitty, you caught all the mice. All right, now let's go on the other way and say that the, the mice win. So let's go and we're going to have to put in a new put in a new microchip. So we'll go over here, grab a microchip and put that down here next to the cheese. And we're going to go in here and we're going to do basically the same thing. We're going to go ahead and put in a timeline as we did before. The reason we put a timeline in there is because otherwise what we put on the screen will disappear in a fraction of a second. Timeline makes it appear on the screen uh, for as long as we want it to, in this case for three or four seconds. So let's go in here. Well, I keep hitting the wrong button. Um, let's go in here and let's again uh, put in a text box. Sorry about that folks. I need to put in a text box. So we go over here. We go back to our movers and input text displayer and we got that text displayer there now let's pull that out to about four seconds and let's go ahead and 
put our text in there and this is going to say bad kitty bad kitty you whoops you let here we go you let the mice get the cheese okay all right so that's our text there and we'll again go up and pretty it up by putting in that yellow background we want to keep everything pretty much consistent so we've got a yellow background there and again we're going to have that be in the center where we can see it and that should do it and I guess the next thing we can do is that uh, we can add another text box right after it and this one we can also have go for the uh, you know, length of time and this one we're going to say game over you lost let's go ahead and put that in there you lost you lost game over and again we'll put the exclamation point in there and we will put that in there go up here select yellow for the background and go into the Make sure that's centered, and we can also just make that one line. We just make this a little bit bigger. You lost game over. All right. So now we have the information, and um, so now what we need to do is we need to open up. This doesn't need to be quite this big, so let's make this a little bit smaller. Because all we have in here is this. And we're going to go into this microchip that's on the cheese. And we're going to, when the health bar gets down to, and the cheese disappears, okay, the, the cheese is destroyed, the health bar is down, and they got nice, got the cheese. Uh, we're going to take this output here, no health, the cheese is gone. And we're going to plug it into this. Again, the reason why this is out here is because if it stays on the cheese, this is not going to show up when we want it to. So we'll just put that right there. And we now close these out. And let's see what we've got. Go over here. And we will press play. And now we're going to see what we can do here. See the health bar is getting down low. And, ah, oh, bad kitty, you let the mice get the cheese. And you lost. Game over. Okay, so now the player knows the game is over. And they can exit out or do what they want to do. Um, they're not going to move forward. The only way to move forward to the next level would be to get all the mice. And that would take you to the next level. Let's see, there's a couple other things we want to put on the screen. Um, we go back to that play for just a moment. We can see that we have... Let's see. Oh, I know why. We need to rewind. There we go. We have the health bar up there, but it doesn't really say what it is. It doesn't tell us. So we need to put something up there that says cheese health or cheese remaining. And we also need to put something on the screen that tells the player that they can move faster than this. Press X to run. That's important for them to know. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go back out into edit mode. Go back to rewind. And we want to put those messages. Now those messages want to be out in the world. So we're going to put them on this microchip. And one of the microchips, we're going to need a couple of text boxes. So let's go ahead and add another text box. And we'll put that right there. Okay. That's trying to line it up there, but it's not working. Okay, there we go. Okay, so 
on this text box we want to enter text and we'll say this is going to be a cheese whoops <laughs> all right here we go cheese <laughs> ease <laughs> um, I guess we're just stuck here gonna have to just type this out cheese and we want here to be remaining all right again we're going to put this text a little bit there we can put the background in we want and actually you can put no background let's try that let's go ahead and put no background in here all right and no border all right but now that doesn't show up very well so we want to go back here and let's change the text to yellow all right so now we've got yellow for cheese remaining and now we want to go back into this cheese remaining and we want to go to that second screen where are we here okay we got that we got that and we want to auto fit we want to take that here we go we want to move that up here that should do it and we can then um, have that cheese remaining up there and it should clear uh, the uh, the actual thing well actually we can check on that because we have okay got all the mice all right so we have the cheese remaining the other one we want to put in there is um, go back and get another text display or we'll put this one down here we don't have to hook these things up to anything because they're going to be in the in the world so we're going to just go in here and um, put in our text and this one we're just going to say press and press and we want this to be the actual X sign. And we, the way we do that is we go into L2 plus triangle, which is down there. We go and we get one of those, and then we come back out and we type in cross. That's what they call it. And then we go back in and we get the get the closed. And that's not working. Okay, let's go back. I think that has to be a lowercase. Let's go back out. C R O S and no uh, okay so we got cross then we need to go back in and put in the closed brackets and now you see we have we have the X symbol on the controller so we go back in we go back into our regular text we go to lowercase two and We'll put in here to run. Okay, so now we have this little thing here, and again, let's go in and put the background to yellow so we stay consistent with all of our text, and we want that to be in the lower right. That's out of the way there. All right, so now we have that. Let's go ahead and test this all. We'll go in and press, whoops, didn't want to do that. Go in there and press. Didn't want to do that either. What am I doing here? Keep aiming for the option key and I keep missing. Okay, so now we see cheese remaining is up there, so that's good. We have press X to run, that's good. So it looks like everything that we have is working. We caught one of the mice, that shows up, got two of the mice. And we got them caught. Good kitty, you caught all the mice. All right. Now, we would go to our next level where we would add more mice and we would make it more difficult. But that's another video. So uh, right now, I think uh, we'll just uh, make sure i got everything I wanted to show you. And it looks like in this video, we've finished what we wanted to accomplish. So next time, when you come back, we'll look at uh, adding a, another level. Um, and I think that'll be that'll be exciting. So uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you again.